what we do know is that Europe sells us far more than we sell them. What we also know is that Mercedes will want to go on selling their cars in the United Kingdom, regardless whether we're members of a European political union. And, and you can look around and you can see countries like Switzerland, Norway, there are many others that have trade relationships with the EU without being bound into political union. And I've been over there for 13 years now. And many times European commissioners have said to me, look, if you want to go and have a simple free trade deal, that's fine by us. And if you think about it, that's what my parents' generation thought they were voting for all those years ago. The concept of a trading market, good. UKIP supports that 100%. But the idea that 75% of our laws should now be made somewhere else is, to us, completely and utterly wrong. You mentioned the gay issue. What is UKIP's stance? Well, we absolutely think civil partnerships were long overdue. Uh, we've got a situation where gay people now can have a ceremony, can be recognised, can, can benefit from inheritance and all the rest of it. But to push for the word marriage to be used, even if, to begin with, it was just in registry offices, risks an action going to the European Court of Human Rights that would make churches and faith communities in this country be made under anti-discrimination laws to carry out services that are anathema to millions of people. And we think that tolerance is a two-way street. It's right and proper uh, that gays are not discriminated against, but we must be very careful that, that faith groups themselves do not now become the victims of discrimination. So UKIP doesn't believe in equality, then? Uh, of course we believe in equality, uh, but we believe in tolerance and we believe in liberalism in its proper sense of the word um, and to push an agenda that suits one group of people to the massive detriment of another I don't think is the right way for us to, to proceed. You know, marriage... It's, it's most interesting, of those though, isn't people, it? Because obviously you're appealing people. to the general public at this time, Nigel, uh, and, and the, the, the uh, polls seem to show a vast majority of the public in favour of gay marriage. Well, I would, I would argue very strongly that this is not just about the Anglican Church or the Catholic Church. It's actually about the practising Muslims in this country. It's actually about large sections of the black community in this country, many of whom feel very, very strongly that marriage is something that should be between a man and a woman. And I think they're right to continue to believe that and their right in their places of worship to say we don't want to have gay marriage here, I think that needs to be respected too. Final thought, if you would. I mean, if you're going to be allied with anyone politically, it's got to be the Tories, hasn't it? We, we know a lot of UKIP supporters now used to be Tories and they've, they've shifted over for a, a variety of reasons. If your support continues in this way, you're going to split the vote, potentially, at a general election, aren't you, and, and let Labour in. Is that really what UKIP wants? I think if you study today's data, you will see that as many votes are coming to us from old Labour as are coming to us from the Conservative Party. But even if, in answer to your question, even if the effect was to split the Conservative vote, so what? David Cameron is not a Conservative, he's a Social Democrat. Most of our rules, laws and legislation are now not made in this country. All we vote for in general elections, frankly, is a change of management and not a change of government. Nigel Farage, appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you.